Well, hello, this is your Wednesday devotional for July 13th. We're going to look at James chapter 5, verses 10 to 11, and our focus is going to be on learning from good examples. Where are good examples, and how can we learn from those examples in our life? Listen to these words from James chapter 5, beginning in verse 10. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered, those who've hung in there. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Who do you look to in your life? Who is an example for you? of compassion, of mercy, of patience, of the heart of Jesus. There's something good about learning from those who follow God faithfully and effectively. We can watch them and and discern how can I take their example and learn in my own life and live more for Jesus. So here's one of the thoughts is learn from the prophets. You know, James says, consider those who have been prophets. There were all kinds of prophets in the Old Testament. One that comes to my mind was Jeremiah. Jeremiah, who was called the weeping prophet, he dealt with difficult things, tough things. He did not see the fulfillment of the prophecies he brought. He was persecuted by his own people. He was thrown in a pit. He was, I mean, he went through all kinds of tough tough stuff, but he kept holding on, persevering and holding on. The passage mentions Job. Job who went through unthinkable loss, unthinkable pain, but he hung in there. He followed God. He would not deny his faith. And in the end, There was an incredible story of restoration that you find in the very last chapter of the book of Job. But it took a whole long time of perseverance. There's blessing in hanging in there and persevering. We live in a give up culture. Times get tough and people oftentimes don't want to weather the storm and push through it. But those who follow Jesus know his power, know his strength. And so we don't give up. We hang in there. We persevere. We grow in holiness in an unholy world. We grow in patience in an impatient world. We, we keep doing the, making the right choice and making moral choices that honor God and not diving into the, the cesspool of what has become normative in our culture. We hang in there and keep following Jesus. And in the end, we see the blessing. And I love how the passage ends. It ends by saying that God is full of compassion and God is full of mercy. Know that as you're hanging in there, as you're going through tough times in life, as you're holding the hand of Jesus, You hold the hand of the one who is the most merciful, compassionate being in the universe. So Lord, this is my prayer today, that as we walk through difficult times, that we would learn to persevere. We would look at people like Jeremiah, the prophet, like Job, who went through so many difficult things. And through their example, and the examples of people living today that have hung in there and held on to your hand, we would learn from them and we would persevere and follow you closely even in the tough times. And then may we see your mercy and your compassion and your glory revealed in our lives as we hold on to you patiently. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. I hope these words have encouraged you. Blessings on your life, on your family. And we'll gather this Sunday at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock for worship online on campus. Hope you can join us. Have a great day.